In order to lose weight, you need to understand why you gained weight in the first place. You need to understand what is going on with your body physiologically and psychologically in order to make this change long lasting. Too many people want a quick fix. Too many people want to lose weight within a month. You cannot expect to undo years. In fact, maybe undo a lifetime of bad habits in a month or in three days. This is why people go wrong. It takes, they say, about 21 days to form a habit. I think it does takes 10 times longer than that because everyone who's been successful on their weight loss journey has been doing it consistently for a year. I believe it takes for a year for a habit to stick. It takes a year to undo years of detrimental habits. Today, I'm gonna talk about my 110 pound weight loss journey, why I was able to lose the weight through a lot of pain, through struggling with binge eating and through weight gain. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Deanna Joy and this is my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight through various methods, mainly doing a keto diet, high protein diet, and intermittent fasting. I use these as tools to help correct my physiological dependence slash addiction to processed foods. There is a reason why we are dealing with a morbid obesity epidemic. It's the food. The food that we are eating is incredibly addictive. And what do I mean by the food? I mean anything that's not whole food, processed food. I don't care if it's processed vegan food or processed not vegan food. The problem is processed food. And the reason why it's a problem is because it bypasses our body's natural ability to have satiety signals. That's why we're seeing the rise of very popular weight loss medications such as Ozempic and other GLP-1 antagonist medication. So that medication exists to correct the problem that was formed from the food industry with the current wave of just processed junk that is making us addicted and more addicted and making us balloon to weights we've never seen in human history. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I overcame my addiction to processed carbs, to sugar, and junk food, and how I'm still able to incorporate junk food to this day, but in a way that I do not lose control and regain all of my weight. So I want you guys to understand this. I'm going to read you something from Joe Dispenza about habits. A habit is a redundant set of automatic, unconscious thoughts, behaviors, and emotions that is acquired through repetition. A habit is when you're doing something so many times that your body knows how to do it better than your mind. And that is key. Ever try to lose weight and you restrict, but your body is constantly telling you, I need to eat more food? That's because your body is in control and it's not your mind. You have a habit of overeating. I don't care if you fast incessantly. I don't care if you're able to stick to something for a couple months, six months. You're not going to break that habit until you go down to the deep subconscious level. So the way I started off my journey is that I tackled it with one habit at a time. I think the easiest habit for most people to start with is working out. Exercising is probably the most easiest habit to kickstart because it makes you feel good immediately And when you feel good immediately and you start getting into a routine with exercise, you're going to subconsciously want to eat well. You don't want to be eating crap food and exercising. It's just going to make you feel like crap. So that's how I started off. I started off with walking three times a week. And that evolved into doing home workouts through body at the time, which was like a home workout exercise program. So I was doing 80 day obsession. And that program was the program that really made a habit stick. That's when I started making Working out a a part of my daily routine, which is key. You need to make this weight loss thing and eating healthy and having healthy habits so automatic like it is when you get up and roll out of bed and go brush 
your teeth. So automatic like it is how when you drive a car. So automatic like how you do your job. You need to get to that point. And to get to that point, it's going to take time. You can't have the quick fix mentality. People fail their weight loss journey because they want to go all in all at once. They do too much. And then they're like, oh, weight loss is impossible. Tackle one small habit at a time. Take a month to master each habit and then add another habit onto that for the next month. You want a habit stack. Now, the number one habit you want to focus on is nutrition. Start slow. Slowly start eliminating the processed foods from your diet. Perhaps make one change of adding vegetables for every meal and track that change and see how your body changes, see how your mood changes. If you don't like vegetables, then your palate is severely messed up and you better learn how to like vegetables because vegetables are key in controlling our gut microbiome and our gut microbiome is key in controlling every process within the human body. If you want something you've never had, you have to become something you've, you've never been. You have to do things that you weren't doing in the past in order to change. This is a mindset that you need to overcome. Now, I started doing that then to help me really get rid of my addiction, physiological addiction to processed garbage, I ended up started doing the keto diet. The keto diet is a diet where you are eliminating your carbs to only eating fiber. So you're eating, this is a general version of it. I have other videos explaining it in detail where you're basically eating 50 grams of net carbs or less. And the reasoning behind this is that the keto diet is kind of like a reset diet. It will put you in a stage where your mitochondria has a time to heal. What is your mitochondria? When you're eating unprocessed foods, your mitochondria is responsible for the energy levels in your body. So when we're eating unprocessed foods, it basically damages our mitochondria and it damages our mitochondria's ability to regulate systems and processes within our body, like hunger um, with insulin spikes, which, which happens when we eat excess carbohydrate. So keto gives you that chance to reset. Another diet or another way that I used on my journey that helped me to reset was fasting. I know fasting is a little bit controversial, but our body was designed to fast. And the power of fasting is that it puts your body into a state of autophagy. You get the strongest state of autophagy through fasting. Yes, you can get autophagy through exercise, but it's not the same with fasting. So the power of autophagy is that it helps to repair your mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, which is responsible for all of our cellular energy processes. And when your mitochondria is messed up, you're going to feel sluggish. It's going to be really hard for, for you to lose weight and you're going to be hungry. So intermittent fasting is a powerful tool because I find when I'm losing weight, it's difficult to lose weight when I'm constantly eating throughout the day. Why is that? Because when you eat throughout the day, it spikes your insulin levels. And when your insulin levels get spiked, you get hungry, you get hunger, and that makes it difficult for a weight loss. So doing a simple 16-8 fast, or you can go to the extreme end, which is what I did, one meal a day. I needed one meal a day desperately, which is just fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window. I still use this method to this day to help me combat my struggles with the physiological dependence on food. Right now, I'm right back to Keto OMAD because Keto OMAD combining those two is a very powerful tool to help get rid of that physiological addiction to food. Now, if you're not willing to fast, that's fine. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you because with fasting, you see results and it gets discouraging when you're losing weight and you don't see results. You see consistent results when you fast, incorporate whatever fasting it may be. If you don't want to fast, then eliminate all processed foods. Eat whole food. Look at the whole food diet. Look at just one ingredient foods. Avoid box stuff. Avoid breads. Avoid everything so you can help reset your system. So these are the ways I was able to lose weight. Extended fasting has helped me out tremendously because, again, it helps to reset my system. Keto is a very, very, very powerful diet. Why? Because it crushes your hunger. 
That's another power with keto. When you are in ketosis, ketones go up into the hypothalamus of your brain and it shuts down hunger. So it's been very helpful for me on my journey. Now you need to understand you don't need to do these diets forever. You just use these diets as a baseline and fasting as a baseline to help your system get in order because right now it is out of order and that's why people struggle so much. I highly recommend going watching people like Dr. Mindy Pels, Dr. Jason Fung, those are the OGs when it comes to the science of fasting and they explain why obesity is happening, why we are obese and struggling with this epidemic of obesity and sugar addiction and what have you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, just let me know down below if you have any more questions or any more topics you want me to cover, please drop in the comments below and I will do so. And if you made it this far into the video, just drop in three yellow heart emojis and I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.